Hey guys, I don't know how much tape I have on, um, left on my phone, so we're going to just chat fast, and this way if it gets cut off, um, it'll get cut off. So I just picked my car up um, from my guy, and he says it's a cam sensor, so looks like we're going to have to get the cam sensor fixed on it, um, which is uh, going to be another uh, couple hundred bucks, um, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, I, um, whew, I'm, uh, I'm just not gonna get stressed out about it because anytime you stress out about something, what I'm learning with my brain is that it, it drains your uh, neurochemicals in your brain. So you just, you want to try and not allow yourself to get stressed out in um, too many situations because that cortisol, it's a, it's a killer in your brain. It's just not something you want to, you know, it's not something you want to be dealing with. But um, gosh, you guys, it's such a beautiful night. It's so pretty. Should we listen to some music? Let's hear some music. Woohoo! Pretty, 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 pretty! Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is a good song. So pretty. Her voice is magical. Listen. The guitar is so pretty. Huh? So pretty. I can't. I don't. I don't ever like to play too much of something because I don't want to. Um, I'm gonna turn my. I wonder if I could put my key on. I wonder how fast I could put my key on here. Anyway, you guys. So it's a cam sensor. You need to get that fixed. He's gonna order the part. He's got to get the part in. Um, and then hopefully, you know, we'll get it fixed. Which will be really good. Um, you guys, the funniest thing. Uh, my little dog is so funny. Um, she is doing this thing where every time I leave, she wants to jump in my gym bag, which is like so totally adorable. She just wants to like jump right in my bag. Makes me like, it makes me kind of sad when I leave because I'm like, ah, I'm gonna go, dude. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I mean, it's just so cute. She's just adorable. I love my little Pomeranian. I'm so grateful for my uh, mother-in-law. She bought me Spirit. Well, she didn't buy it for me. It's actually she bought it for my husband. And um, my husband's just so funny. He just cannot deal with, like, really tiny dogs. Well, it's not that he can't deal with tiny dogs. He can't deal with... Um, there goes my sweetie pie. Because uh, we both went together to get my car. Anyway, um, he can't deal with like little tiny things that are like, I don't want to say like helpless. He's just, he's, he loves like my big dogs and he loved Nikita, which is my other little Pomeranian. So he loves, like he loves little dogs. But I think, I think uh, she's just kind of, she's kind of so little and a little fragile that, um, it's a little bit, it kind of stresses him out a lot. Like if she, if he steps on her or she, uh, you know, uh, he dropped her once, you know, totally on accident. I told him, this dog is enough to show he and I that we should not be parents of homo sapiens. <laughs> because um, there's just, uh, we're just not, you know, we're not, we're not really good we're just, we're, we're kind of like, um, yeah, we're just different. I'm sure that Gene would kick in if we had, you know what I mean? But what's funny is that it's just not, it's just not, it's not, he just gets really scared and he, and he did say that. He said, I just don't know how anybody could have a kid. It would just scare me so much. Um, and I can totally see that. So if she ever cries or there's anything wrong, he just like hands her to me. Like, he's, and he'll say, I don't know what to do. 
and uh, it's just really funny. I've been around animals my whole life, around puppies, dogs, horses, chickens, goats, pigs, I mean, you name it, cats, birds, um, guinea pigs, rats, I mean, you name it. And when I was a little girl growing up, uh, oh, you guys, it's so pretty. Can you see in my sunglasses how absolutely freaking gorgeous it is? It's so pretty out. I do love coming to this club. So uh, this club is called the Wilmot Club. And uh, this is the, it's off Wilmot. It's the Wilmot location. It's just a really cool, uh, it's a cool location. Um, Uh-oh, there's an ambulance up here. And I don't know, how are we going to get, how are people going to get over? Hmm. Let's always say a prayer. Whenever you hear an ambulance, say a prayer. So I'm going to say a prayer right now. To Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you and whatever that ambulance is and and whoever's in need of that ambulance, please give them your peace and your healing and your restoration and your blessings. Just bless that family and that entire situation. Uh, we just come before you with, and cast all our cares and we give them to you. Amen. Okay. Go, guys. Go. Um, so yeah, you gotta love, you gotta love. Come on guys, let's go. You guys, it's so funny when you live in San Diego, you get to be <clears throat> kind of an, kind of an aggressive driver. You know what I mean? People out in Tucson are mellow jello drivers. It's like so hard to get used to. Um, and what's funny is I kind of think of myself as a Melo Jello driver now. When I go back to San Diego, I'm just like, oh, it's like the way they drive there is crazy. Um, but I still feel like I'm a crazy driver here. Not a crazy driver, but I'm just, um, I um, am assertively aggressive. Is that is that a driver? Yeah, but I'm, a, I'm um, it's weird. I'm a defensive driver, but I'm also aggressive because I think if you're sometimes too much of a defensive driver, um, you can uh, be a little wishy-washy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you have to at some point you have to make you know decisions about doing things. Um, oh, I could park there. I could park down here. I think I'll go over here. I'm gonna come right out when this car's coming out. So perfect little, I think it's cool because I, I have let you guys see the beautiful sunset over here. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, it's a sweet little lady. She's... Anyway, let me just show you guys the, the uh... oh, you actually can't see it too much, but let me just, let me pull you back here real quick and let me have you see. Can you see that right over there? It's where the sun is setting. Those trees are kind of in the way, but anyway, pretty cool. So, you guys, I'm gonna go teach uh, boot camp uh, power circuit step, and uh, we're gonna kick some butt. But I'm really excited. It's gonna be a really fun class. Um, so, anyway, like I tell everybody, remember to stand in your light, to stand in your truth, and above all else, be a warrior. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.